Hi everyone, this time the video is about positive ion formation and I will use an example of sodium to illustrate. So sodium atom becomes sodium ion and let's see the electron arrangement of sodium atom. Sodium atom electron arrangement is 2, 8, 1. Okay, and sodium ion is actually uh, formed by sodium atom. How? Let's see the electron arrangement of sodium ion. So based on the electron arrangement difference between sodium atom and sodium ion, can you tell me how does sodium ion form? So one electron is different, right? and the electron actually like lose so sodium atom actually lose the electron to form sodium ion and you can write down first so sodium atom actually lose one electron to become sodium ion and after that for sodium ion why they have uh, why sodium atom have lose one electron but not lose ten electron Let's take a look for the electron arrangement, the difference here. So for sodium ion, the outermost shell now have 8 electrons. Do you still remember the noble gas electron arrangement? That will make them become more stable. Right, for 8 electrons in the outermost shell, because of the octet rule, they will become more stable. So this is due to the octet rule, right? So with the octet structure, they will become more stable. Okay, and this will become more stable. And that's why for the positive ion formation, sodium atom will lose one electron to um, become sodium ion because uh, everything in chemistry, you know, well, actually they tend to become stable. So that's why they will tend to lose electron to form the sodium ion. Okay, so now this is actually for the sodium ion, you know, the electron arrangement and you can actually draw the electron diagram okay for sodium atom it will be rather simple right so first of all you draw the first shell 281 right 281 okay 281 okay and for sodium ion 28 here right so you also have to draw two uh, two electron shell. Okay, like this. And after we draw the two electron shell, actually we have to add one more thing because sodium atom actually lose one electron to become the sodium ion. And sodium ion actually have one less electron than that of sodium atom. And let's consider the charge. Do you still remember the number of proton and electron in sodium atom? Yep, number of proton of sodium atom is actually 11. And that's of number of electron will also be 11. And that's why sodium atom is neutral. But this time, let's take a look for sodium ion. Here, the number of proton of sodium ion actually remain unchanged because the sodium atom only lose one electron but not losing proton. And that's why number of proton remain 11. But for the electron, it will actually become 10 only. Because proton carry one positive, electron carry one negative, so here, proton and electron is like this. Which one is more? Proton is more. More proton, more positive. And that's why here the charge will be one positive. And we can actually illustrate and show it in the electron diagram by having a middle bracket and then write down plus on the top right hand side. So for the plus here actually means one positive, one positive here. 
and this is actually the electron diagram of sodium ion and last but not least we can also use a symbol to show sodium atom and sodium ion for the symbol for so for symbol of sodium atom is very simple like this and a right and for sodium ion is like this thank you